You're such a nerd, Double Dragon 912. Yep, and I'm proud to be a nerd. Video games are awesome! morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in this world. I'm DJ Unification, also known as Double Dragon 912. And what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Today I got a, another unboxing for you guys and girls. Sorry, no anime news this week, really, so uh, I'm going to try to do this unboxing. I'll try to upload it for Wednesday. Without further ado, let's get into this. Came in from Amazon. Y'all know I'm always trying to find the next best thing in the capture card. So... Let's get into this. There it is. The Ava Media Live Gamer Extreme 3. Supposed to be able to do 4K plug and play. Supposed to be pretty decent. A little stuff on the back. Let's get into this. Uh, got a little tape there, so you know. Try to see if I can peel it off with my nails. You should know that it's uh it's legit. <clears throat> we got that tape on there. Such out the Amazon. Yeah, real legit. <clears throat> <coughs> Alright, there we go. That should be enough to get that off. Alright, let's see what all come in. If I can get this open. <laughs> That'd be nice. Don't want to open for me. Alright, y'all. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to do it like that. There we go. Alright, let's see what's all in this bag. I'll get it eventually. Y'all bear with me. Where should I go? I thought it would slide right out, but I was wrong. Alright, let's see what else we gotta do. Let's get the other tape off. There you go. There you go. Alright, got the box. Alright. Let's see what all comes in. You open it up. Oh. It's kind of small like they said. It ain't big as I thought it would be. There you go. Right there. And what we got up under there? Let's see what's going on up under here. How right, you take that box out. What all we got up under here? We got the USB cord. Yeah. And we got a HDMI cord. Cool. That's cool. We appreciate it. Got some of all these instructions. What else we got down here? The instruction book. Alright. I'll be back, y'all. Try to do some gameplay for this for you guys and girls. I'll be right back. <clears throat> Alrighty. It's a test again. Test, 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 test. Alright. Get ready for the next battle. Let's see how it turns out. Round 
Round one. Fight. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Asuka. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Get ready for the next battle. Your fate is already decided. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, doing another test with the Elgato on Tekken 8. I always do Tekken 8 because to me Tekken 8 is the best looking PS5 game. So, 
Okay. Crazy outfit you got on. Got it.
Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, these are the three capture cards that uh, I've picked up over the years. I uh, just tried the uh, Ava Media. Uh, it's, it's real good. All of these do 4K. Uh, right now, I'm doing 2160 times 1440 on all three three of these. And I tested them out. Y'all, I'm either going to do it before this, I put this in here, but, but it'll be on there. I'll show y'all a side-by-side -side comparison of all three of them. And then you got the Elgato. Elgato uh, 4K. Not what is it? Not 4K 60. 60X. Something like that. I have all that stuff. I'll link in the description where y'all can go buy these three. But, um... Yeah. They're all great capture cards. But in my humble opinion, I think the Elgato 60... What is this name of this Elgato? I'm destroying the name. because I The Elgato... The new Elgato, to me, does the best. I've tried all three of their programs. You know, Hall Paul got their own program. Avery Media got their own program. And Elgato got their own program. And all three of them suck. <laughs> uh, the Elgato one does not, <clears throat> does not allow you to control the volume of your gameplay and your, um, of your gameplay and your, your game audio. It just... Only thing it allow you to control is the, the how loud your mic can be. That's the only thing it allow you to control. Now hard part, it's just basic. It's somewhere in the middle of the road. But Ava Media one, is horrible. I thought I, you know, I, the reason why I bought the Ava Media one, I was thinking, yeah, the Ava Media program looks pretty good. It got the multiple views and all that stuff. But what they don't tell you about the Ava Media that you can't really control your volume or your audio. Cause I tried it. I try to control the volume of my voice, the mic input, and I try to control the volume of the game, and it didn't record at all. But all three of these work in Steam Labs or OBS, because I just tried it in the Steam Labs, and you know that gameplay footage y'all y'all just saw works great in Steam Labs. It, it looks pretty. You can control your volume and everything. All three of them look great in Steam Labs. But to me, the one that didn't flicker the most was the Elgato. So, out of all three of these, I highly recommend the Elgato. Uh, Price-wise, Elgato right now on Amazon, because I have I have links in the description to all this stuff. El the Elgato costs more than these two. And in my opinion, the Elgato does more. It looks better. But I haven't quite explored the Ava Media, because they said you could do the in and out and all that, that, that the game chat and stuff like this. You can do all that with the Ava Media, so, you know, it's up to you guys. I'll let y'all decide. Like I said, y'all looked at the, the gameplay footage. All this is Tekken 8. I recorded Tekken 8 on all three of these. And I know y'all looked at the gameplay footage, so I'll let y'all decide. All these, all three of these, though, do record in 4K. All three of them do 4K. I give them that. But uh, the best place to use it is Steam Labs. Use Steam Labs or OBS because those, those, those programs work a lot better than what comes with the software. The software that they give you, this one, it works, but it be stuttering and spitting. And I got a uh, graphics card, a 1060 Super. 1060 uh, 60 Super, I think that's the name. Uh, you know, I'm new to this PC game and stuff. But, and it be stuttering and sp spitting, but it records. They program do, but you can't control the volume or none of that stuff. Hall Pug, they program, I don't know. I tried it before back in the day, and all it does is the basic, just records, and it does let you do your volume and all that stuff. It does pretty good. It's definitely better than the El Gallo program, but the one that's the worst is the Ava Media. The Ava Media program, it won't let you control volume. It, don't, it, didn't, it didn't record right for me. <laughs> but I, like I said, I highly recommend you hook these up into Steam Labs or OBS because OBS and Steam Labs will definitely recognize the, the program. Time you hook it up, y'all know Steam Lab, my OBS fans out there. Time you hook up the El, El Gato, it'll recognize it. It, it recognizes all three of those. These you ain't got to really search for. It recognizes it and it plays just fine in OBS or Steam Labs. I do use Steam Labs. I use both of them. I use Steam Labs and OBS, but yeah. If I had to pick out all three, three of these, Elgato. A little bit more expensive, and then, to me it looks better, in my opinion. But that about wraps up, ladies and gentlemen, for this rendition of the 
unboxing and versus series <laughs> of all three of these caps of cards. Leave comments below or which one y'all thought was better. Uh, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great videos like this on the way. Double Dragon 912 signing out. Peace out. Oh yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to tell you. Only caveat between these three. The Elgato and the Ava Media both use USB 3.0. So I guess that's supposed to make it faster transfer away. Both of these do USB 3.0. And the hog part, it, all of them use USB-C, by the way. But uh, the hog part, it uses USB 2.0. And another thing, uh, it says on the, uh, the website that it, it uses uh, 3.0, but that's a lie. They false advertise with the hog part. Because I tried to talk to the dude about it. He had like you know what I was talking about. I said, y'all say on y'all website that you use USB 3.0 and you only giving USB 2.0 in here. And I've tried using this with a 3.0. It does not work. So y'all need to know that before you buy it. Um, and like I said, the Elgato, it uses 3.0 and the Avery Media. I give Avery Media credit. Our Elgato got the longest cord that goes in there though. I give them that. It uses uh, USB 3.0 too. So these two technically gonna be a little bit faster. I forgot to add that into the video. Alright, now I'm gone. Holla!